hello friends this video explains how you can pass the uh, variables or use the variables in azure pipelines so there are two types of variables that you can use in azure pipelines so one is built-in variables and another is custom uh, or user defined variables so on this page uh, you can see the list of all the built-in variables or you can also call them predefined variables for example a build dot clean this is a deprecated variable so you don't need to worry about it then system dot access token System dot debug. Then agent variables. Uh, this is very useful. Like uh, you can know like what kind of uh, agent your job is running. Like uh, what is the operating system? Then what is the build directory that was used by the agent? What was the home directory? Job name, job status. Then agent machine name, OS, tools directory. So with the help of these variables, you can find out the details about the agent machine. Next uh, important uh, variables are build related. For example, build dot artifact staging directory. Then build ID, build number. So with the help of these uh, IDs, you can customize your reports uh, in the build. So there are various types of uh, predefined variables. So how you can use them in your Azure pipelines. For that, uh, I'm gonna give one demo. So here is one uh, pipeline P1 DDSS. So for this particular pipeline, let us uh, use the variables. So just click on edit. And over there, I have used one variable called as build.repository.name. So what is going to do is going to print uh, the repo name. Whatever is the repository name this particular pipeline is using. Similarly, you can use uh, any other variable. So to use the variable this is the syntax dollar then in the brackets you have to use the variable name or give the variable name and if you click here at the top variables uh, there also you can create new variable say v1 and variable value is value or whatever let us say name saga like that and that's so you can make const constant variable as well so that nobody will uh, override that and uh, to use this variable uh, this is how uh, you can use that to reference the variable in the yaml file like just uh, we did you can use this dollar and then variable name similar to the predefined variables and to use the variable in the script use the environment variable syntax so replace a dot and a space with underscore Capitalize the letters and then use your platform's syntax for referencing the environment variable. For example, if you're using batch script, percent name percent. So in the Windows batch, this is how you reference the variables. Then in the, if you're using PowerShell script, this is how you reference the variables. And then uh, if you're using the Linux bash script, then dollar name. That's how you can refer those variables in your scripts. So let us press OK and then save. Then let us again click on save. Variables test or variables build. And then we're gonna, we're gonna click on save then this build will be kicked off and then let us see the output so to see the output go to the builds and then there you will see this build that is being executed it's waiting for the request uh, to be processed uh, starting the initialized job and downloading the tasks so in this bash task we had used that variable so this is the bash task so just click on that to see the output and you can see this repo name is p1 that's how you can print the uh, like values of the variables and uh, this is actually useful for the debugging your code if there is something is not working in your pipeline then you can add the variables and then check the values of those variables so that you can uh, it can help you in debugging thanks for watching this video